Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today the chamber is going to hear Aujourd'hui, la chambre va entendre la déposition du premier témoin in relation to the first January dam work site. Le site de travail du barrage du 1er janvier. And the first witness today for that work site is to TCW 836. Ms. Jiesi Huang, please report the attendance Madame of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. participants à l'audience d'aujourd'hui, s'il vous plaît. The Greffier. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunchi is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the Greffier. A witness who is to testify Le today, that is true TCW 836, confirms that to his a best knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is Nun Chi and Kyo Sampon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness through an oath before the Aaron Club State this morning. Devant la statue à bar, à la de fer ce matin. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le President. President, thank you. Président, merci. The Chamber now decides on the request la by Nguyen Chi. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chi dated 19 May 2015, which states that due to his health, that he's had the back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requires to have his right to participate in and be present at the 19 May 2015 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver that in no means it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during the proceedings against him. Having seen the medical report on Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, Dated 19 May 2015, who knows that Nguyen Chi has a chronic back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 for the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nguyen Chi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audio-visual means. The Chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings. Pour qu'il puisse suivre l'audience à distance aujourd'hui. President, good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, what is your name? Monsieur le témoin, comment vous appelez-vous? Witness. Le témoin. My name is Alf Ho. Je m'appelle Alf Ho. President, uh, thank you, Mr. Alf Ho. Merci, Monsieur Alf Ho. Do you recall when you were born? Vous souvenez-vous de votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born Je on 5 October. Le 5 October. 1945. 1945. Thank you. Question. Le président, merci. Where is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Answer. 
Currently, I live in Tul Sala village. Je vis dans le village de Tul Sala, sous-district de Changdong, Kampong province. District de Barai, province de Kampong Tom. What is your Question. current occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Answer. Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je suis riziculteur. Question. Question. What are the names of your father and mother? Comment s'appelle votre père et votre mère? Answer. Réponse. My father's name. Mon père s'appelle. Is Ao Kate. Is Ao Kate. And my mother ma is Om Mum. Om Mum. Question. And Question. what is your wife named? Comment and how many children do you have together? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My wife's name is Saom Ma femme s'appelle Saom Red. And we have nine children all together. Nous and avons four neuf enfants. Passed away. Quatre sont décédés. President, uh, thank you, Mr. Aho. Le président, merci the beaucoup, Monsieur Aho. The Grafier made an oral report that, to your Le best knowledge, none of your, your father, mother, ascendants or ah, descendants, in-laws or wife, is admitted as a civil party in case. Uh, in this case, is that information correct? Qui se soit constitué partie civile dans le cadre de ce deuxième procès. Answer: exact. Yes, that is réponse, correct. Oui, c'est exact. Question. Question. And the graphy also uh, reported that you took an oath before your appearance in this chamber. Is that correct? Devant la chambre. Est -ce exact? And said yes, I took an oath. Oui, j'ai prêté serment. President, Question. thank you. And the chamber would like to inform Merci. you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Regarding your rights, Mr. Aho, as a witness Aho, in the proceedings before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted. Regarding your obligations, Mr. Aho, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you. As the chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly in relation to any event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or the parties pose to you. And Mr. Aho, have you been interviewed by the investigators of the office of the co-investigating judges? If so, how many times, when and where? Answer. It was held Réponse. once at a Une fois Malang commune. Dans la commune de Malang. Question. And before Question. you appear before the chamber, have you read or review the written déposer, record of your statements that you provided to the LCIJ investigators in order to refresh your memory? Afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire? Answer, Réponse. Mr. President, I cannot Monsieur recall le everything. Je ne me souviens pas de tout. Question. Question. Have you, in fact, read it or reviewed it? Avez-vous lu ce procès verbal d'audition? President, uh, Mr. Witness, have you le read président. or reviewed the, the written record of your statement before you appear, before, uh, avant de venir you appear déposer devant in this chamber? Answer. I 
could not locate réponse. the uh, written record of my Je n'ai pas pu retrouver ce procès verbal d'audition. President, does it mean that you have not uh, read it? Cela veut dire que vous ne l'avez pas lu. And uh, Mr. Arho, please Arho, observe uh, the function of the uh, microphone. Micro, you should only uh, speak when you see the red light on the vous tip of the microphone so that your voice will go through the interpretation system. Witness, I cannot recall your last question. Please repeat it. Le témoin. President, votre question, does it mean that you have not read the written statement of your interviews with the OCIG investigators? Du Is that correct? Est-ce exact? Answer, yes, I have not read it. Réponse, non, je ne l'ai pas lu. President, thank you. Le président, merci. The chamber has been informed that you have some health issues and that you need to relieve yourself frequently. And please do not hesitate to uh, signal the chamber by raising your hand so that the chamber will give you time to relieve yourself. And for questioning this witness, and in pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECCC in the rules, the Chamber grants the floor first to the co-prosecutors before other parties, and the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers for civil parties is three sessions. You may now proceed. I don't need to say, thank you, Mr. Trump. President, and good morning, Ling Your Honours, Mr. Le President, Bonjour, and Madame everyone et in juges. and around Bonjour, the courtroom. Mesdames et messieurs. And good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. My name is Seng Lee, the uh, National Co-Prosecutor. Today, I have some questions for you to clarify to the court in relation to certain topics. Initially, uh, your background before 1975, the treatment on the 17 April people, the treatment on former Lunol soldiers and officers, and the treatment on Buddhism, the treatment on Jam people, and lastly, forced marriage. Et enfin, la question des After that, forcés. my international colleague Par la suite, mon collègue international will have some questions relating to the working conditions, conditions de and organizational structure at the first January Dam, at the security centers, and some other questions as well. Les questions relatives au centre de sécurité, entre autres. I want now to begin my question with your background before 1975. Could you tell the chamber where you lived before 17 April 1975? Answer. Before. 17 April 1975, I lived in Prey Srengai village, Balai sub-district, Barai district, Kampong Tom province. Question, thank you. Question, merci. Can you also tell the court when the Khmer Rouge occupied your area? Answer. Réponse. The Khmer Rouge occupied Khmer Rouge my area since 1970. Thank you. Question. Merci. 
In your OCIJ's interview, that is document E3-5255, at EAN in Khmer 0023-9906, in English, 00-025043, and in French, 00 7224 Answering to the question, where did you live prior to 1975, you said that, and I quote, prior to 1975, I lived at Praise Rome Village, Balang Sub-District, Balang District. And answering to the next question, where were you from 17 April 1975 until 1979, and what did you do? And you said that, and I quote, I remained chief village at Praise Rongai village until July 1977. Can you uh, tell the court when did you join the revolution? Pourriez-vous dire à la cour à quel moment vous avez rejoint la révolution? Answer. I began my work with the revolution since 1972, and I continued in that fashion until 1978. Question, when you Question. started working in 1972, what was your function or Quelle position? Était votre poste? Answer. In 1972, I was the deputy chief of Praise Rongai village. village. President, court officer, could you please uh, check village with the witness Rangai. whether he Le has a document Lui that he uh, read from? Du témoin, pas par hasard en train de lire un Look at President. Mr. Ao Ho, uh, please Président, respond Monsieur to Aho, your best recollection, and if you cannot recall it, uh, please say si so. Vous vous there is no need passé, for you to refer dire, to any written document. Vous vous this is a live question-answer session, and the National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you may resume your questioning. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President, and Mr. Witness, can you Merci, inform the Chamber when you became the village chief? Answer. In 1975. Question: Who appointed you Question. to be village chief? Et qui vous a désigné pour être chef du village? Answer. Réponse. I was appointed by Bone. J'ai été nommé par Bone. Wood. Wood and through other individuals whose names I cannot recall. Dont oublié le nom. Question. Who are Vaughn and Wood? Qui sont Bonne et Wood? Answer. Réponse. They were commune chief and deputy commune chief. Il chef de la commune et du chef de la du chef adjoint de la commune.
questioned. Question. Until when did you were the village chief? Et jusqu'à quel moment êtes-vous resté Answer. chef du village I started to become a village chief in 1975 en 1975 and I continued to carry out that position until 1978 jusqu'à 1978 de ce poste par l'Ankar. Question. Question. Can you please confirm whether it was 1975, 77, si or 78 when you stopped being the village chief? Answer. I stopped Réponse. being in that position in 1978. À partir de 1978. Question. Can you uh, tell the court uh, the month? Question, pourriez-vous dire it was in à quel mois July. précis Réponse, c'était en juillet. Question, so you mean that Question. you were the village chief until July 1978, is that correct? Cela veut donc dire que vous avez été chef du right? village jusqu'en juillet 1978, est-ce exact President, uh, Mr. Witness, Le please uh, respond as uh, what you said earlier did not go through the uh, microphone uh, system. Votre micro n'était pas allumé. Nous ne vous avons pas entendu. Witness. Le témoin. I started working in 1975 and I continued working and until. Et July 1978. Jusqu'à juillet 1978. Question. Can you tell the court then Question. what you did after July 1978 when you stopped being the village chief? Lorsque vous avez cessé d'être chef du village. Answer. Réponse. At that time, many cadres had à been killed. Beaucoup de cadres avaient été exécutés. And as I was, and I was one of the uh, targets. J'étais donc moi aussi ciblé, visé. Question. And Question. because you were the target of the uh, investigation, and that because many cadres have been killed, you stopped being a police chief. Is that correct? Avaient été exécutés. C'est pourquoi vous avez cessé d'être chef du village. Ai-je bien compris? Answer. Réponse. After I was removed from that position by Ankar. J'ai été retiré de ce poste par l'Ankar. It's because Anka did not have confidence Et ce, in me. Que plus confiance en moi. Thank you. Question. Question. My colleague will put more questions Mon to you regarding this uh, uh, ce event. And please uh, tell the chamber where you lived after July 1978. Vécu après juillet 1978. Answer. Réponse. After July 1978, après juillet 1978 I remained still in Prey Srangai village. Je suis resté dans ce Question and what were Question. you doing then? Answer. Fait, I became an ordinary villager working Réponse. in the rice field as other villagers did. Dans les rizières, comme les autres. Can you tell the chamber Question. who? were chiefs of a commune, dire à la chambre, district, sector, or zones at the time? Qui était le chef de commune, de district, de section et de zone à ce moment-là? 
answer. Réponse. After July that year, Après I do not know who année, became the commune chief. As at that time, I was demoted to become an Ce ordinary villager and I was not allowed to attend any monthly meeting. As for the sector committee, Dans I only know the previous uh, committee members. However, to my knowledge, they all died. Mais à ma connaissance, ils sont tous décédés. Question. Question. I'd like you to give the chamber the names of the previous chiefs of communes, districts, or tech sectors when you were chief of the Prey village. village de Answer. Réponse. The commune committee Le comité de la commune during the time that I was village chief chef du village were born, born would, would le, le, jad, jad, jin, jin, and long. Et long. Question and what about members Question. of the district Et committee? Et qu'en des membres du comité and du district? I don't recall their names. Je However, ne me souviens pas de leur nom. Uh, there was an alias for the Cela district dit, committee. Uh, Moon. Du comité du district, il s'agissait de Moon. Question: What about the names Question. of members at the sector committee? And at the zone level, if you know them, si vous les connaissiez, answer. Réponse. Pork was the zone committee Pork at the time. Le comité de la zone à l'époque. As for the sector committee members, Et I cannot recall their names. Membres. Question. When you say pork, are you referring to Kai Pok? Answer yes, I refer to a Kai Pok. Prosecutor, thank you, um, Mr. Winnes. Uh, did you personally know Kai Pok? Answer. Réponse. I did not know Kai Pok well, je but I saw him Kai in a vehicle bien, passing vehicle. my village to the work site. I could see je him uh, uh, 50 meters away from where he was uh, in the vehicle. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Winners. I now move to another topic that is treatment on the new people. In your OCIJ's interview, document E3 slash 5255 at Khmer Eon 0-0-2-3-9-9-0-6-0-7. And the English EON is at 0 0 2 5 0 0 French EON is at 0 0 You stated, and I quote, the 17 April 1975 evacuation was from Phnom Penh. The people were called 17 April Group or New People Group. My question is as follows. When did uh, this group of people arrive in your area? Quand ce groupe de peuple nouveau est-il arrivé dans la région où vous vous trouviez Answer. Réponse. They 
arrived at my place Ils sont arrivés in late April. Fin avril. I do not recall the dates. Je ne me souviens pas de la date. Question. How many uh, families were uh, that they were sent to your Question. commune and village? Answer. For the 17 April people, there were many of them. There were 300 families, and uh, my uh, commune received only 100 families. Council, thank you, Mr. Winners. Do uh, were people in your commune divided into groups according to whether they were based person or a new people or 17 April people? Answer yes. Réponse. They were divided oui. as such. Ils as for en base groupe. people, they were put in a different group. However, new people and base people, they conduct uh, work. Uh, this, the, they conduct did the same work. They worked in the field. Question. So how many uh, groups were divided? Answer. There were full right members, people, candidates, uh, people, and the uh, positive. Question. Could you tell the court of what differences between the three groups as mentioned by you? Answer. I do not know Réponse. about other village, villages or communes. Je ne sais pas ce As a people in the my commune and village, ma commune, they village, uh, worked in the field. Les gens dans les champs. They did not have uh, different work to do. Pas de travaux différents. Question. So why were they classified into three groups then? Answer. I do not know. It was the decision of the upper echelon. Question. Question. Do you know who told you to uh, group people as uh, such? Savez-vous qui vous a dit de regrouper les gens ainsi? Answer. Réponse. I was called into a meeting and uh, we were told meeting. that people had to be divided into such groups. Que les gens devaient être divisés. De la sorte. You said that uh, you were called into a meeting at uh, the quarter. So what did you mean by referring to a quarter? À Was it a commune? Qu'est-ce que vous entendez par là? Est-ce que c'était une commune? Answer. Actually, I was referring to Réponse. the commune en fait, when commune. I uh, said the word sankat or quarter. Council, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Could you tell the court uh, which cate category were your family, was your family in? À quelle catégorie votre famille appartenait?
answer for my family. We, my family members were put in Les the candidate people group. Co-prosecutor, can you co tell the court, did the three groups of people si receive the same uh, treatment or receive different treatment? Answer. In my village, I, as I said, I do not know about réponse, other villages. Um, the three groups of people received the same treatment. Co-prosecutor, can you co tell the court was the food ration the same or different between based and new people? pour les peuples nouveaux et pour le peuple de base. And so actually réponse. at that time we dire, had to eat or collectively. Nous devions prendre nos repas collectivement. Co prosecutor, what about the food ration? for based uh, people, new people, and candidate people. Was the food ration different or the same? Answer. As for food ration, we had uh, gruel. We received uh, the same amount of gruel. If uh, one group of people received uh, two ladles of gruel, we, another group would receive the same amount. Co-prosecutor, did you know that uh, people in your commune or village uh, died from starvation? Avez-vous appris que des gens dans votre village ou votre commune mouraient de faim? Saviez-vous si les gens dans votre village Answer, ou votre commune mouraient no. de faim? Réponse, non. People in my village and commune, uh, they did not les die from starvation because they de received the same food ration. Les mêmes and uh, when they returned from work, they uh, could go to catch fish in the uh, stream. Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Concerning new people and base people, when they committed minor offenses, Lorsque were they treated the base, same or differently? Du peuple nouveau commettait un délit mineur. Était-il traité de la même façon selon qu'il appartenait à l'une ou appartenait à l'une ou l'autre catégorie? Answer. As for new people Réponse. and base people, when they committed offenses or wrongdoings, Lorsque they receive uh, the, uh, the same treatment. They were reprimanded the same. Co-prosecutor, in your OCIJ statement, document 83-5255 at Khmer Eon, 00-23-99-11. Eon in English is at 00-25-00-47. And French Eon is at 00-27-72-29 through 30. Answering to the question, 
what categories of people were arrested and persecuted the most. You responded, you responded, and I quote, the poverty people were more easily found to be at fault and were punished more than the other people. So how could you explain this to the chamber? Answer. For 17 April people, when they committed minor offenses or wrongdoings, the commune chief would reprimand them. But if they committed serious wrongdoings, uh, the commune chief uh, did not reprimand them. Uh, the commune uh, chief could not guarantee their safety. In my commune, uh, people did not commit any serious offenses or wrongdoings, co-prosecutor. I uh, do not really understand what you have just said. I would like to go back into the statement which I quoted. You said, quote, the deposited people were more easily found to be at fault and were punished more than the other people. Unquote. Is it true for the statement that you said in the OCIJ interview? Answer for the positive people when they had committed wrongdoing in other commune away from their workplace, so it, uh, they were easily found to be at fault. Co-prosecutor, I would like uh, your clarification on the points that you said the positive people were more easily found to be at fault. Is this statement true? And you still confirm, you still stand by your statement. Answer, yes, that is true. I still stand by my statement as you quoted. Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Did you know why the, the poverty were the target of uh, mistreatment and persecution. Answer. I I did I do not have any clear information on this point. Co-prosecutor. How did you know that the positive people were more easily found to be at fault? Answer. The positive people had their friends in other communes, and these the positive people would tell the secret uh, matters to their friends. Des questions secrètes à leurs amis. Co prosecutor in your experience, Co -procureur. did you know that there were frequent arrest, killing, or disappearance of the 17 April people. Si les gens du 17 avril étaient, disparaissaient souvent ou étaient exécutés. Answer. 
Actually, there were no frequent arrest, killing, or disappearance, but I could see people were transported in vehicles. Co-prosecutor, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Wines. Because of the time, I would like to move to another topic concerning treatment of Lunar soldier and officials. My question is as follow. Can you tell the court what happened to people in Barai district, in your whole district? Your people were identified as official or soldier of Lunar regime. So can you tell us what happened to them? Identifiés comme étant des anciens soldats de l'OMNOM. Answer. Uh, could you repeat your question, Mr. Co-Prosecutor? Répétez votre question, Monsieur le Co-Procureur, s'il vous plaît. Co-Prosecutor, can you tell the Chamber what happened to your people in Barai District? Pourriez-vous dire ce qu'il arrivait à vos gens dans le district de Barai? Your people in Barai District were identified as a former official or soldier of Lunol regime. What happened to them? Soldats de Lunol ou d'anciens ou des fonctionnaires de l'ancien régime. Answer. These people confided uh, the secret to other people. So they told that they were such official, former official or soldier. Co-prosecutor, after... Uh, the cadre learned that they were former official or soldier of Lono regime. So what happened to these people? Answer. From my observation, when they were learned that they were former official or soldiers, we feel pity on these people. If uh, the information leaked to the security personnel, uh, the security personnel would come to arrest the former official or soldiers. Co-prosecutor, where were they arrested to? Et où étaient-ils arrêtés? Où les emmenait-on lorsqu'ils étaient arrêtés? Answer. They were arrested and put into a security office. On les arrêtait et on les emmenait dans un centre de sécurité. Co-prosecutor, I would like to move okay. to another question. À à une autre when new question. people arrived in Barai district Lorsque in late April, as you have just stated, Barai, do you know whether the Khmer Rouge tried si to identify people who were soldiers, officials, or otherwise connected to the Lono regime? des anciens soldats ou connectés d'une quelconque manière au régime de l'ONNOL. Answer. Upon their arrival, Réponse. actually, they arrived at Pietrao Pagoda. During that time, people's uh, biographies were Mates and commune chiefs uh, would be called uh, to collect uh, their respective uh, people. Appelé pour qu'ils rassemblent les gens placés sous leur autorité. Co 
co-prosecutor okay. in your OCIJ statement document E3-5255 at Khmer EON 00239907. English EON is at 00250044 and French EON is at 00277225. You stated, quote, when the new people were evacuated from Phnom Penh on 17 April 1975, they had a list of names which I received. But later in 1977, they made a different list of names. And the name list was also sent to me. And I was told that I had to prepare those people to board trucks to go live at a new village. My question is as follow. Can, can you explain to the court how or was uh, the list prepared? Answer, I do not know how it was prepared. It was sent, the 17 April 1975 name list was sent uh, to another Sankat, and I was in different uh, commune. Co-prosecutor, you mentioned the 17 April 1975 name list. Who prepared the list and who gave uh, the list of names to you? Answer. Actually, I do not know where it was sent from. But I received uh, the list of names of uh, 17 April 1975 from the commune chief. Co-prosecutor, can you tell the court uh, whose signature was on the name list that you received? Answer. Actually, the signature belongs to Comrade Jack. La signature appartenait au camarade Jack. Co prosecutor, was Jab the commune chief at the time? Et Jab était-il le chef de la commune à l'époque? Answer. Jab was the commune chief. His name was Jab. Et son nom était Jab. Co-prosecutor, thank you very much for your clarification. I would like to move to another question in relation to your OCIJ statement document E3 slash 5255. EON is at 00 EON in English is at 00 And French EON is at 00 You stated. Quote, 17 April people were killed because of the information were originated from them. Because at the time, Khmer Rouge played a role of 17 April to ask about and find the people who had worked during the previous uh, regime. Furthermore, Khmer Rouge gave one set of black clothing and a red scarf to a youth named Gao. This individual was a former teacher during the Lunar era, and uh, he was the 17 April, April person.
this individual was to indoctrinate uh, him in their ideology and stances. Can you tell the court the statement that you answer in the OCIJ documents? Ce qu'il en est à la Chambre. Il s'agit là d'une de vos citations figurant dans votre procès verbal d'édition. Answer from my recollection at that time. Réponse. Guards. D'après mes souvenirs, war the bright color Les gardes portaient des couleurs vives. clothing. They des said that de they vives. were the 17 April. Ils and they ils said they were captains. Ils they ils went around and capitaine. asked people to tell the truth of whether Et they whether the people of our former uh, soldiers. And uh, I was told at that time not to uh, confide the truth or our previous uh, position. As for youth named Kao, this individual Kao was a former Kao teacher during Lunol era. Comrade Cha gave uh, Kao a new Chao set of uh, clothing and a scarf. And uh, Kao received also a bicycle. Kao, Kao was indoc indoctrinated Kao so that he could go and search for anyone who had ranks in the former regime, and uh, Anka would kill all in intellectuals at that time. I uh, do not know the intention of uh, Anka at that time. I learned this information because I was uh, reprimanded by my commune chief. I was said that I colluded with uh, the enemies. Question. Question. Please uh, explain to the court when the new people told the ones who acted as the 17 April people or told Gao and that they were reported on to the upper echelon. What happened to them? Answer. Pourriez-vous nous dire ce qu'il leur est If by par mistake suite, they said those words, avril, they could not be saved. Réponse, si le cas, ils ne être they had to die. Il fallait qu'ils meurent. Thank you. And for the sake of time, Question. I Merci. move on to another topic. Pour un peu de temps, je in vais the same document and EIN, in the next sentence, document. you stated that, and Cette I quote, suivante, at the time there was a list of the names of 15 families in my village, dans votre village who upper level had selected. But I have to conceal eight families. As for seven other families, they were taken away by truck after being told they were being taken to a new village. I think that this new village was a killing site because I never saw those people return. Can you tell the court why you helped to conceal those eight families? Pourquoi vous avez dû cacher ces huit familles? Answer: The eight families were not of any Réponse. special 
circumstances. However, it was easier to conceal famille, them as they were not talkative and they did not go around or, or speak to anyone. Et elle ne parlait à personne. Question. In the last part of the uh, quote that I Dans said, passage, you said that you thought the new village was a killing site because you never saw those people return. Did you have any other information that made you to conclude that those people were taken to, to be killed? Avez-vous pu tirer cette conclusion sur la base d'autres informations également? Answer. Réponse. I came to that conclusion for the uh, following reason. In fact, the clothing suivantes. was insufficient and the clothing from those people were brought in. And that was the best of my conclusion. Voilà Question. Question. For the interest of time, I move to another uh, topic that is on the je treatment of uh, jam people. In your OCIJ's statement, that is document E3 slash 5255 at EN in Khmer 00239911, in English 0025047. And in French, 00277229. Answering to the question, were any of the Cham living in your de village arrested? Si you responded that, and I quote, question, the ethnic Cham were considered to be even lower than the 17 Abri people and the ethnic charm were forced to eat pork. Their religions de were closed down and their they were not allowed to worship. And of quote. And what happened to the mosque and the uh, Cham people who live in your area? Et des Cham qui vivaient dans votre région. Answer. Réponse. The Cham people in my village Les at the time de mon village, à were treated uh, that way. It was strict ont été ainsi. for them. And it happened uh, in every eux. village. However, in my village, village the Cham people were village, not mistreated. Les Cham as for their uh, practice, the Cham people only would consume the meat of the animal that they slaughtered by themselves, and that's how I witnessed it. Question. In the same Question. document and the same EAN, in response to the nice question, Answering to the question, do you know of the policy suivante, to eliminate the ethnic charm? You responded that, and I quote, I don't know. I only know that they wanted there to be only ethnic Khmer. End of quote. How did you know about that? Comment l'avez-vous su? Answer. I did not Réponse. have the uh, concrete source uh, for that information. Je pas eu However, le I knew pour ces that they only dit, wanted to have only ethnic Khmer, but uh, they failed to Khmer, achieve that. Mais que cela n'a pas pu être le cas.
Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, in fact, I have uh, some more topics to cover, and uh, due to the interest of time, I'll hand the floor to my international uh, colleague to continue putting questions to this witness. Mr. Alhan, thank you for coming here and explaining to us what life was like during the DK period for you and others in your community. I'd like to just go back and get a little bit of your background. What was your education? I did not attend any proper schooling. However, I ordained as a monk and I studied at the Pagoda. I was a monk for 10 years. When the Khmer Rouge took over your area, were you a monk at that time? I actually left the manhood uh, by that time. So in 1970, what was your occupation when the Khmer Rouge came to your area? In 1972, that is prior to 1975, I was the deputy chief of a village. And by 1975, I was promoted to become the village chief. And in 1978, Ankan removed me from that position. Thank you. Um, you said that question. before, but my question oui, is, before you were the deputy village chief, de were you a rice farmer, or what was village, your occupation? While I was the deputy village chief, I also worked as a rice farmer. Now, when you were made the deputy village chief and then the village chief, at any time were you made a member of the party? Was it? No, I did not become a Réponse. party's member. Non, je ne suis pas However, membre du parti. I was the core person for the non, party. La what do you mean by that? Explain that. Question. Que voulez-vous dire par là? Pourriez-vous nous expliquer un peu? President, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, please observe the uh, microphone function. Witness, a core person for the party referred to a progressive person. It means parti, that the person will be able to achieve the goals or instructions of uh, the party uh, or to lead the people to work parti, based on the instructions of the party successfully. De la ligne du parti, et ce, avec, uh, During the time that you were the Question. village chief from 1975 until 78, you told us, what was, uh, how did you receive instructions about how you were supposed to carry out your task. During the performance of my task, uh, starting from 1975, I received the instructions from the commune chief. You mentioned attending a commune meeting. Was that a frequent occurrence? Can you tell us, did you have meetings once a week, once a month, once a year? Can you explain?
Sometimes the meeting was held on a monthly basis or a fortnight basis, so it varied. Besides the commune leadership, the commune committee, did anyone attend from a higher level, from the sector, for example? Sometimes the meetings were attended or chaired by senior cadres from the district or from the sector level. Just so we're clear, by the way, uh, you lived in Barre district. Did that have a number during the DK period? I do not know whether there was a designated number for that uh, district. And what about the sector? As for the uh, sector, in fact, the center zone was divided was subdivided into three uh, sectors, Il y avait trois secteurs dans la zone, uh, namely sector 41, secteur 42, 41, and 43. Et 43. Which sector were you Question. village chief in? Et à quel Your village was in which sector? Vous? Vous étiez chef du village dans quel sector? It was in sector 42. Uh, sir, you indicated that you were a core member, considered a core member by the party. Um, but you also indicated that your family was classified as candidate members rather than full rights. Can you explain why it was that your family was a candidate member Pourquoi family as opposed to full rights members. <coughs> that is my uh, personal conclusion. Usually full rights uh, people refer to the pure class poor person who could only earn a living on a day by day basis. And when people were a little a bit uh, better than that would be considered the middle class and those who were a bit more wealthy would be considered the upper class and that's how they divide the social status of the people during the regime. Uh, President, uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. It is now convenient to have a short break. We have a break now and return at 25 to 11. Court officer, please assist the uh, witness during uh, the a short break and invite him to return to the courtroom at 25 to 11. The court is now in recess.